The public domain is a disgrace to the forces of evil. What are you saying exactly? A work in the public domain is free for anyone to you. Can you do that? <laughs> oh, this video is brilliant. Oh, I would love to create something like this, but do you think I need to ask for permission? Or maybe it's one of those cases where you don't need to ask for permission? You know, one of those copyright exceptions. Hmm, let's see if Chris can help me. Hello? Hi Chris, how's it going? Hey Alan, I'm alright. I just have a quick question. I was watching an amazing video. It's like a mix of famous films edited in a very funny way. I would like to make something similar. You know, just for fun. But... Do I have to ask for the author's permission? Hmm, you probably mean a parody. That's like a work that uses elements of a different original work to mimic or comment on it, its creator, or some other phenomenon. Some countries have parody exceptions, meaning that you can create these imitative works without asking for permission from the copyright owner. But in the UK, we don't have this kind of exception, at least not yet. So I think you probably need to try to get permission from the rights holder. Oh no, but it would be just for fun. Well, there are some other defenses that you could try to rely on. For example, the principle of unsubstantial use, or fair dealing exceptions for criticism and review, or the public interest defense. But they're fairly limited. Um, I mean, you could still be sued by the copyright owner of the original work. What? Sued? I don't want to be sued. I know. Actually, this is one of the problems of not having a parody exception. The parodists might be deterred by the risk of being sued, and this would prevent the creation of new works. If you don't want to take the risk, I think it would be better if you got permission, even though it might not be easy to get. Why? Well, you know, in general, to identify copyright owners and get their license is a long and expensive process. In the case of parody, this process can be even more difficult, because parodies are often extremely critical or offensive toward the original work, so the author might not be interested in licensing uh, the use of their work. So even if you have the time and the money to obtain authorization, it doesn't mean that you'll get it. So what happens if the parody is too offensive? Well, an author has moral rights, such as the right to object to derogatory treatment of a work, which enable the creator to object to any use of their work that is damaging to their name or reputation. But you know, that's a critical point, striking a balance between freedom of expression and reputation. On the other hand, if the original work becomes more popular as a result of the parody, then this is a potential benefit to the rights holder. Oh, okay, I understand. So, it's important to introduce this exception, right? Well, an exception for parody could help the creative economy within the UK, because it might motivate the creation of new work that otherwise wouldn't exist. It might also bring social and cultural benefits, enabling consumers to create homemade parodies and to spread them through social networks like YouTube. And if the UK government introduces a parody exception, then I will be able to make my own parody video, won't I? I think so, yeah. Cool! Thank you very much, Chris. I hope to see you soon! See you later, Alan.